was guessing that this would sound a little extreme to you. <laughs> a little? You are proposing euthanasia. Virtually. We've been through this before. You are here because you're... Because you decided to change certain habits. Feedback correct so far? Sure. Just, I wasn't informed that you were some psychologist for like Dr. Mengele. <laughs> because of your uh, accent. Now, take a minute and think about your life. About your performance in school. Family relations. And concerning your sexual activity. Or what do you think? What do you want to achieve in life? What do you mean you're leaving? I mean, how long are you going to be gone? Some time, I guess. But... Wh why? Well, time issues. My life's getting pretty hectic right now, and I got lots of stuff uh, to do, you know? Really? You're going to go with that? Well, I'm sorry. I still don't see why running away from your responsibilities has anything to do with killing Anixia. A dragon is the ultimate achievement. Honey, do you think anyone remembers Siegfried if he had just solved the problem of unemployment? <laughs> but Siegfried never existed. Well, see? I still people remember him. Dude, I'm gonna kill this dragon. I wanna do it on my own. Fine. Do whatever the hell you're gonna do. But don't you come crying to me when you realize you are not Siegfried. <sighs> You're not even listening to me, are you? Mm. Yeah, perfect. Uh, listen, buddy, I... I need superior equipment, okay? I thought about the titanium razor plate and the relentless gladiator's great sword. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Considering all these personal issues you got going on, um, give it about two months and you're there. Oh, okay, um... What can we get in, like... Two days? And then he goes about Oedipus and his anal regression and castration fear and how I remind him of his tyrant mother and I think, why am I dating this guy? I need more time. Uh, I'm sorry? For quitting. I mean, shouldn't this all be some kind of slow progress? Well... Why not? We could give it a try. Slow progress, absolutely. Yeah, you actually do that with uh, addicts? Do you think you are an addict? Any news on Project Siegfried? Yeah, uh, actually I still become a little insecure about this. Look, there are only two variables in online gaming. And since you ain't got no time, we have to boost your skill. Congratulations. Your training is now complete. What? Hey man, I, I want to kill a fucking dragon. How does mining help me with that? I, I know. Fuck, how but, does bunching trees help me with that? I, I, 
Wait, don't tell me. Ah, there he goes again. Meditating on rock helps me kill a dragon at all. Calm down. Well, yeah, that was kind of pointless, but it looked freaking cool. And why are you so damn serious all of a sudden? I mean, you really need to take a chill pill. Why can't it be just like old times where we had fun? I mean, remember that time that you corpse camped that road for not waving back at you? Are you there? Hello? Hard! Strike! Strike in your paladin face! Who's the man? Who's the man? So that's it. You kill little monsters to get stronger, to kill bigger monsters, to get precious treasures and weapons, to again kill bigger monsters to get bigger treasures. And then you call yourself Froggle the Nerd Master. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. Can I just pause my account? Did you ever try pausing before? You don't like me, right? No, you hate me. That's it. You are an online game racist. Are you kidding? Online addiction is the new ADHD. Hysterical parents filling my pockets. So awesome. I'm way too honest right now. Look, I've seen all kinds of drugs. Sex, drugs, clinical stuff. I've seen people who were split into 16 different personalities and some of them were having lawsuits against each other. Really? No, trying to say there are people with real problems. So drop the whining and pull yourself together. Just empty the pee bottle. <laughs> oh, fail. I'm dropping the plan. What? Why? I guess I'm no secret at all. Not real, not fictional, not virtual, whatever. Hey, screw that. Don't let yourself get sucked into that whole real-life depression bullshit. We need you here. You know, you're a great tank. You know how to manage aggro. You know how to keep the group alive. It won't be easy to replace you. Isn't your son old enough soon? Yeah, he just said his first words. I heard, uh, so he's probably superior to most other players here. Haven't you seen him a lot lately? Nah, she's been keeping it scarce for some time now. Maybe that's for the better. Or not. I don't know. You gain plus five despair. Depression hits you for 50 damage. Your level gets weaker. You turn to fight back while oh, the internet connection is down.
Look, this isn't easy for me. You and I, we come from different worlds. No, but technically, it should be my job to build a bridge from my world to yours. I guess I failed at that. I have no clue how I can build this bridge. You know, when I'm playing, it's not what you see, it's not just me sitting in front of a colored window. It's my ability to imagine that draws me into a world behind that window. You know, it's, it's feeling and experiencing things that are not there physically. Just like love sickness, like pleasant anticipation. That is human. <laughs> Got you so easily. <laughs> <laughs>